one of the sheriffs came to me and said, you know, you've got the best seat in the house. And I was like, and I said, well, why? And he said, because you're sitting right behind Michael. And when we find him guilty, we're going to get him out of there so fast that your head's going to spin. These, these people had already decided that Michael was guilty and they were sure of it, so sure that they had an exit plan to get him out of there. Michael came into the courtroom and he looked like he was on serious drugs. He really, truly looked like a dead man walking. It was a tense moment, you know, the entire world stopped to watch what was going to happen to the best known celebrity, a uh, musical genius, Michael Jackson. That was such an awfully emotional day, you just didn't know what to expect. We, the jury in the above entitled case, find the defendant not guilty of conspiracy as charged in count one of the indictment. The verdict was read and it was not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, not guilty, all the way down the line, all counts not guilty. And I remember very specifically Michael seeming to not understand. And I remember Tom Snedden looking at Michael for a reaction and not really getting one. And I also remember Tom Mesereau, his lawyer, leaning in and mouthing to Michael Jackson, you're a free man. I could read his lips because I was so close. And Michael still didn't get it. You felt like it was a triumphant moment, but then when you looked at him, you realized that he wasn't there for it. There was nothing you could do. He was so devastated that it had happened that you couldn't even find a place to be happy that it ended the way it did because it was so devastating that it had occurred at all. It's sad because I, I, I really feel that trial is what really depressed my brother out to the point where he just wasn't happy. He never went back to Neverland. For Michael not to go to Neverland, he must have been pretty sad. Didn't want to have nothing to do with that place ever again. He would always tell me, it's over, I don't trust anyone. I don't know why they're doing this to me. They want me dead. He said, they're gonna kill me for what I got. <laughs> 